My name is Sherry Margulies, and first and foremost, I've been living with HIV for 20 years, and I'm also a mom uh, who has a 20-year-old son who's also HIV positive. So um, certainly my motivation for being involved in HIV work is to try to uh, reduce some of the stigma and make the world a, a little bit better of a place for my son to grow up in and ultimately you know we're holding out a lot of hope now uh, possibly even for a cure in our lifetime so that's why I am involved uh, as an HIV activist my role with the CTN is as the chair of the Community Advisory Committee. Um, I was fortunate enough to be a member of the, of the Advisory Committee for three years and then be uh, voted to, uh, to take over as chair. I think this is a really important advisory committee. We have an opportunity to review most of the clinical trials that are happening here in Canada around HIV and AIDS and really put a community stamp on these trials and help to build the capacity of the clinical and basic science researchers that we're meeting with uh, to understand the issues uh, surrounding participating in trials for people living with HIV. Having the Community Advisory Committee allows CTN researchers to come and tap into our expertise to, uh, and also to make sure that these trials are fair, are ethical, and um, are driven by the community, both the community of researchers as well as people living with HIV. It's important to participate in clinical trials. First of all, I would never want to say to anyone, you have to participate in, in clinical trials. But participating in clinical trials may not only benefit you in the long run as an individual, but it can also benefit many other people living with HIV. If we don't participate, then there's no way to discover if there's a better way to treat us, if there's a, a, a other aspects we should be looking at or to discover things we don't know. Um, we don't know. We always go into trials with what we think we know. But oftentimes we come out emerging with, with new and wonderful ideas that we had absolutely no idea about. It also gives us an opportunity to learn more about our health care and to learn more about what's behind those pills that we take or what's behind the reason we go to the doctor so many times. The more we get involved, whether it's at a, as a trial participant, as an investigator, as a community advisory member, the more influence we have over how the trials are run and uh, certainly how the results of the trials are communicated.